You know what? She still feels a little bit warm. Well, that's, that's the medicine. It's working in there. Working, working, working. Mom. Yeah, fever. <laughs> you know, it's so nice to have a doctor in the family. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. makes house calls, you know. Yeah, what a night it's been, huh? Say that again. Oh, what do you think Rachel was really up to? She made a complete spectacle of herself. Yeah, it was kind of weird, you know. She's out she to does. impress people, and then she gets herself liquored up. You're right. I don't think she made any points with the board members, and... You know, it was almost like she wasn't just tipsy. It was like she was on something, or high or something. Maybe it was a full moon. You know what? If it wasn't a full moon, it should have been, because think about it. Rachel first really weird, and then Cordy was kind of weird. She sort of cornered me to talk to me. Not to mention it. She, she practically chased you to the parking lot. Well, you know what? Only Courtney would think that whatever she had to say is more important than you. Nothing would stop us from coming home to our sweet little baby. So I gamble a little. What's the big deal? I found out who you owe and how much. They're not happy, Frank. I can't believe that they would try to kill me over a little gambling debt. They didn't. Then what? They weren't going to for you. Then why did you come to see me, Sonny? To warn you. Next time you might not be so lucky. I don't understand all the stuff I'm fine. Yeah, you're just beachy. Yeah, she you should know. not be alone. Yeah. Oh. I'm not going to spend the night here with her. <laughs> In your dreams, are crazy. Yo, yeah. I'll stay. No, I don't need anyone. Stay here. I am perfectly fine. I told you. Okay. okay. Yep. All right. Okay. Here we go. Get her. Get her. Get her. Okay. Get her. okay. Maybe. I, maybe I do need someone here with me, like my mother. Your mother? I need to call my mama. I need to call my mama. the decorations they were beautiful and the food was amazing and the champagne flowed most of it down rachel Locke's throat i can't imagine her time went on <laughs> no she was smashed and she was she was telling off everybody in sight but um mrs barrington was so impressed with the job i did she gave me a bonus enough for neil's baseball camp enough for rent i can't let him down you, you wouldn't if you tried. All Neil can talk about is, is what a hero you are. No, I want to give you and Neil all the things that you deserve. Try and get some rest, okay? I'd rather look at you. Listen, um, everything is going to be fine. And soon we're not going to have to worry about money anymore. All right, here we go. This will help. Thank you. Be careful. Maybe a lap full of hot coffee will help sober her up. Here, let me help you with this. I'm supposed to be helping you. You have. You have. Oh, I try. I try to do everything to help you. Do what's best for you. And I always will, Libby. Oh. And stormy night. The wolf bane was in bloom. The man-eating wolves were out looking for little... Daddy, 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 stop it. You might scare Christina. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, might, might scare Christina there. So maybe we'll go with something a little less gory. Okay, how about the one about the traveling salesman and the farmer's daughter? I don't think so. Maybe we'll go with something a little less less. Yeah, how about Christina's never heard about the one where you two met each other and fell in love? Oh, well, you know what we were doing? We were waiting until 
Christina was a lot older to let her hear that one. Well, I'm older and I've never heard that one. She's right about that, Lucy. But Scott, Scott, Scott hey. Well, let's see. Now, it was about 12 years ago. I was a, a young, young lawyer. I was working the waterfront, helping the poor people down there. And Lucy was working the hospital board or working on getting on a hospital board, I meant to say. Just like now. We've come full circle, huh, pal? You don't have to go, you know that. Max got an undercover cop watching your back. But you know, if it were just me in danger, I wouldn't let them force me into hiding, Joe. But I'm not gonna risk the lives of people I care about. Listen, when you put these cases on Karen's desk, there was some stuff we were going over together. Yeah. I gotta get my shaving stuff. Jobs. What's with the attitude, Carrie? I mean, what are you trying to Stop do here? calling me that. All I'm, all I'm saying is I'm here to try to help somebody, and all you're giving me is, is, is you're not being very nice. So you want to tell an old friend what the problem is? It's you, you bastard. No, oh, don't. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Around. Uppers, right? A few downers take the edge off. How can somebody so smart and be so stupid, Carrie? You're judging me. Yeah. You're the one that started me on this path. Yeah, did I? Well, who's, who's holding a gun to your head now? Wouldn't you the one who told me that, you know, I should take responsibility for, for what I do? Well, now it's your turn. Your life, your choice. I'm getting lectures from a man that leaves bodies in his wake. Whatever I did with my life, I can live with it. Now, you've worked hard to get a second chance. Don't throw it away. I'm a doctor. Chief resident. People look up to me. They respect me. Yeah, well, I saw what's going on, Carrie. How, how long before everybody else does? All right, think about it. Somebody addicted to M&M's shouldn't be working a candy store. When did you start carrying? Well, you got shot 30 feet from where I live. Yeah, lucky you weren't home. Yeah, lucky. Wait a, wait a second. First Sonny Corinthos tells me that the guy who shot me wasn't after me. And now you come in here all concerned. It was you that they were after. Frank, listen, uh, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. Was, sorry? Sorry for what? That, that somebody's got a bullet with your name on it? Sorry that, that you and your, your family are part of the mob? All right, just you take it you easy. Know, you're not the one with the bullet hole in your chest. All right, you know what, Frank? I wish this never happened. It's a little late for that. Yeah. Hey, Kusi. How you doing? You know I don't go by that name. Yeah, I also know you're thinking of going underground. 
Can you believe everything you hear? I tell you what, I can fix it for you. Make sure you're protected. Well, I left my family. I'm not about to join yours. Oh, man, this whole night is a blur to me. Well, that's actually too bad. You were something at that party. Oh, what do you mean by that, something? Well, you know, something. As in, wasn't that something the way she told Boardman he's a lousy lover? Oh. I have to admit that that was actually kind of a, kind oh, of a fun no. surprise for everyone. Well, not as much fun as you hitting on Scott. In front of Lucy. Oh, tell me I didn't. Uh, sorry, you did. Champagne really sneaks up on you. Though I, I never drink that much. I like to stay in control. I'll bet somebody drugged me. Well, what is this, an Oliver Stone movie? Well, you just had a few too many, that's all. It just uh, happens to the best of us. Just need some rest, sleep it off. Yeah, I think sleep is a very good idea. Well, let me help you to bed. No, it's, it's okay, really. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Just thank you very much for, for taking care of me, bringing me home. Rachel, who's Livy? daughter of a, an old patient of mine. Boy, I hope I didn't violate any doctor-patient confidentiality. No, no, you just mentioned your name. Listen, call if you need anything, okay? Yeah, I, w I will, thank you. Thank you. who this Livy person is. Maybe we'll be able to figure out what Rachel's really up to. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, um, I was hoping we could kind of put this on hold for a little bit. You and I have something important we need to deal with. Heat on General Hospital. What began is lost. Turn to trust. Are you saying that I'm scared? You've been running scared your whole life. Will it lead to love? You want to go out tonight? <laughs> you and me. It doesn't have to be like before, you know. Emmy-nominated General Hospital, ABC Daytime. Hey, I got your page. Joe, this is Agent Berkman from the FBI. And Dr. Harmon. <laughs> he knows everything. You know my conditions? You're placed at a facility where you can work with spinal cord injury patients. Where I can keep working on my own program. Understood. In a second... That woman I told you about, Dr. Ellen Burgess? It's a recent photograph and all the information I could find out about her. If you find where she is, you let me know. Will do. Ready to go? I'll meet you downstairs. Well, I knew you were going, but not so soon. Well, that's how they make a guy disappear. He's there one minute, gone the next. No, it'd be a lot easier if I wasn't leaving behind friends like you. I have a feeling we'll see each other again. I don't think that's possible, Joe. You walk down that corridor, anything's possible. <laughs> yeah. See you, brother. See you. I gotta go, man. That's wiped out. You got a problem with that? Yeah. What's in it for you? You're dead. Something happens to you. Uh, your kid grows up without a father. That's lousy. 
So now I say thanks and, and we're all square? Except this, I, I am not bankrolling your action. You ever hit the tables in this town again, I'm gonna hear about it. And our next visit's not gonna be so pleasant. I was on my way out. Take care of yourself. Excuse me. What was he doing back here? He settled my gambling debt. You're kidding. We're out of trouble. Okay, please, please tell me he doesn't know where we live. Hey, he, he's the right guy to have on our side. And don't worry about it. I am going to find a way to get the money we need. I'm not worried, okay? All right? So you see, Serena, your mother took a real shine to me right off the bat. Uh, excuse me, it was your daddy who couldn't take his eyes off of me, not for a minute. What are you talking about? You kept showing up at my office on the hour, day in and day out. You were trying to get into my drawers. Your desk drawers, your de wooden pull-out desk drawers. Yes, yes. Oh, those drawers. Oh, evidence. Lots and lots of evidence. Lots of evidence. Yeah. Anyway, so, you see, there was this evidence, you know, and, um, that she could have used against me because what I was doing, I was, um, I was going around the hospital and I was taking, um, flowers from the rich people and I was giving them to the poor Ooh. people. You were? Yes. You were. That, that's what your daddy was doing. You were. That's mm -hmm. right. Just like Robin Hood. So you see, she could have used that oh. against me and ran me out and got me in a whole lot of trouble. But I couldn't do that because he was just so darn cute. And he was so disorganized, I felt I had to help him just like he's disorganized now. Yeah, she was like my Friar Tuck. Friar <laughs> Tuck. I prefer to think of myself as your maid, Marion, and it was so romantic because we would ride horses every night. I had a white stallion and you had a black stallion. Midnight. We'd be out there riding around helping the poor, downtrodden. All those downtrodden people. You know, I... I can't believe I haven't told you this story sooner, sweet pea. Uh oh Well, so much for our little trip down phony memory lane. <laughs> but that's kind of how it happened, wasn't it? Something like that. Not the best. We had a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot. I think it's bedtime. I think so. <laughs> okay, you come on. Well, you're not even sleepy, that one is. Okay, you got her? Hey, I got it. I got it. Watch out. You're getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And bigger, and bigger, and bigger. We got to get you to go to sleep on. Come on. So is that medicine working? Yeah, look at her. I think she's doing okay, but... I am not, mm, I am not going to leave her until her fever's down to 98.6 flat. Uh, I thought you were going to go to the hospital and uh, bust up some more votes. Well, I don't think I have to worry about Rachel at this point with her performance at that party. And besides, yeah, I couldn't. How could anybody leave you? I couldn't leave you or you or you because nothing is more important, even that board seat. Nothing's more important than my family. Okay. Come on. Come on. You. After come on. you. We're going to have to sing you to sleep a long time while you're not even sleepy. Say night-night. Whatever it is, just say it. Courtney found out that you and Frank are Christina's real parents. Courtney. Yeah, look. A and it's because of Neil, isn't it? And Christina being his bone marrow donor. That's a big part of it, yeah. Oh, I told you this would happen. You wouldn't listen to me. I mean, you said people would never put it together, that matches were found in the general population all the time. Yeah, I know, I know. Look, I'm sorry, Julie. Sorry doesn't change things. How long have you known? Courtney came to me a couple days ago, asking for money to keep her mouth shut. Oh, surprise, surprise. Yeah, well, she threatened to say something at the party tonight. So I... I decided to slip a Mickey into a glass of champagne for her and I'll knock her out, but that glass of champagne never reached Courtney. It went to Rachel. Yeah. Uh, but she acted like she had an overdose of truth serum well, or something. Maybe it's the difference in their size or their metabolism. What are we going to do? Well, we can't sit on this anymore. What are you saying? Well, you have to announce that you're Christina's mother before Courtney does.
If the truth comes out now, I could lose Christina forever. Julie, we don't have a choice. No, once I get my job back and people trust me, then they'll see that I'm ready to care for a child. Courtney is not going to wait. Well, then we'll pay her off. Whatever it takes, we'll do it. No, no, no. It's never going to be enough. And think about it. If Courtney can figure this out, someone else is bound to. And soon. Look, it's out of our hands, okay? You have to claim your baby now. for scene from the next Port Charles. On the next Port Charles. Someone slipped you a Mickey? Yeah. And I have a real good idea of who that was. Well? Welcome to the board. Something happened? We've decided to come forward about Christina. Cast your vote in the Port Charles Weekly Poll. Only at ABC.com. Part of the Go Network.